night, I was at a dinner, and somebody said something that I think really rings true, which is that especially right now, it's hard to be inspired. But that's what we want. We want to know that people in their communities around the country are working with local government officials, are working with business, are working with civil society to really solve the biggest problems we have, the ones that sometimes even seem difficult to talk about. A model where we are financing affordable housing, transportation, and access to um, education and training. The farmer in our, our farmer partner is really amazing, and so they also do a lot of uh, solar farming. Anything that starts from locality and community and where change is happening is, you know, the image I have in my head, it's like change from the ground up as opposed to change from the top down. And actually it's about connecting different people who have own different parts of the services that often people uh, really need. So I, those are three things that I think I'm going to take away is rising locally and Stockton, Massachusetts needs to learn from Stockton, CA. Yes, Mel, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks so much for you. I heard at Rise Local today tons of inspiring stories from the mayors, from the founders of New America, uh, about how all the mayors are really using technology to create economic empowerment opportunities for the local community that didn't exist five, ten years ago. Whether it's using open data systems or using technology to uh, educate people about opportunities uh, in government. Tipping Point has one relentless goal, which is to fight poverty in the Bay Area. And we do this by helping the one in five people in our region that are too poor to meet their basic needs. You know, I think in today's environment in particular, where the national narrative is that everything is broken and no one can ever work together to get anything done, it's actually important that we have an alternative narrative and tell stories and see. Connecting and communicating is as important to solving problems uh, as money uh, and ideas. This great startup or innovative idea could come from any city in America. How do I know this? Because I've seen it. I lived it. I worked with hundreds of underrepresented tech founders. I've heard their stories. Some of you may have heard of them, but most of you have not. Literati started in the Northern California woods because of two little kids, and today it's in 114 countries, and we're doing it one piece at a time. Thank you very much.